Also tonight, a group of South Florida moms is demanding action while honoring victims and survivors of gun violence. It's all part of the annual Wear Orange Weekend. CBS 4 Jacqueline Quinn has their story. Dozens of people gathered outside of Marco Rubio's office calling for gun reform. They hope he'll hear their message as well as people and elected leaders all across the country. The effort to reach elected leaders and demand gun reform is mounting. So this is a petition. There's 600,000 digital signatures from Americans all over the country. This Friday, it started with petitions from Florida moms demand to action and mothers fighting for justice at Senator Marco Rubio's office. The pain don't go away. There's no expiration date on our pain. I lost my son just sitting at home on top of a stairway by a stray bullet. So I didn't want this to become normal to my community or my family. And Romania Dukes is one of several mothers CBS 4's Jim DeFiti featured in his Facing South Florida special, focusing on the toll every day gun violence has on families. This has to stop and we have to hold them accountable. While outside, a coalition of teachers, parents and survivors gathered to echo the message that leaders need to do something. These are our kids. These are people who go to church, who went to grocery stores, who worked in a hospital. Yeah. Guns can't be more important than people. Right. Yeah. And no one is asking for us to do anything about the Second Amendment. Many out here agree they want reasonable gun safety regulations, such as background checks, raising the age to purchase an AR-15 rifle higher across the country, and a limit on high-capacity magazines. David Hogg survived the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting. He says more good guys with guns is not the answer. There were good guys with guns, and they only proved to be uh, cowards with guns. We need to address how to stop a shooter from getting on campus in the first place and get it, how to stop them from getting an AR-15 to begin with, or else we're endangering the lives of law enforcement, our teachers, and our students, and we can't do that. These kids are dying. And for some, this discussion has reached a flashpoint. What if he doesn't act? What if he does the same we'll, thing? We'll, we'll remember in November. In Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.